I caught another couillon throwing away them deer ribs, dude. Deer meat sauce bacon, all from some just scraps, dude. So now what we gonna do is clean this up, get all the good edible meat off of this. Look how much meat that wasted, dude. All up in a sauce bacon for the win. Keep throwing away the good part, dude. I'm gonna keep picking them up. And you know what's funny? They be like, oh, I saved my dear ribs. Why all them carcasses on side the road got ribs? That's what I wanna know. Let's get it. What you wanna do, dude, is get that top layer of fat off them ribs. Cause you know that fat don't render down like it does on beef. That way when you go between the ribs and cut, you got nothing but meat, dude. Get that out of there. Look at that pile of meat we already got, dude. What you want to do is take your knife, run it right down the inside of them rib bones, just like that. Look at this. Perfect little rib fingers. Boom. Right down the bone. Send it home. Look at that. Beautiful little rib fingers. Going in that sauce pit cone on a cold day, dude. Look at that ranch. Straight money, dude. We're going to piss off the buzzards with this, dude. Got all the waste, but a good about three pounds of that beautiful rib meat, a little brisket. We're about to smother that down. I told y'all nut skin goes to waste. Plenty enough meat for that sauce pecan. We're going to leave these ribs whole. Y'all remember the turkey on the stripper pole, dude? We're going to low and slow cook these till they're falling right off the bone. I might even put them on a pull boy and just shoot, pull that meat. We're going to season all them ribs down really good with the original OG two-step. Get a little flip. Get them on that scripper pole, dude. Like that. This thing cooks from inside and out. This pole has holes in it. Two beers. One. Two. And we're gonna let that smother down. Keep adding that beer to it. Ooh. Put that like that. Put that fire on. Boom. Cover it up, dude. That might take three, four hours. Every good sauce pecan starts off with a beautiful roux. I got two cups of herb, one cup of flour, and I'm gonna add more flour as I need it. Get that out of here. Go get on that roux. Come on, look on here. Keep moving it around, dude. You gotta have a good roux spoon too, brother. Now we stir in that roux. We don't want to burn that. Don't do that, dude. Let's talk about the vegetables we're going to be using. You got the Holy Trinity. Everybody, what's the Holy Trinity? You got the bell pepper. You got the onions. You got the celery. That's the Holy Trinity. The Pope is the garlic, and this is the green onions, two lemons. That's what we're going to put in there. We're going to dice that up. Come back in here. Look at that color changing. You let it stick on the bottom just a little bit, and then you move it around. It's so hard to even cook a roux these days on the intranet. There's so many roux out there that'll just tear you apart. Cook your roux how you like, the darkness you like. Come back, look at that. We're making color here, dude. That's it right there, dude. That's the color I like my roux. Just like that. Now we're about to hit it with that Holy Trinity. Ooh, dude. Hit it with the Holy Trinity and the garlic. That's the poop. We're going to brown that down. And look, it's okay to leave your vegetables big. Because when you smother this down for two, three hours, all that juice is going to come out. Get that out of here. Come look at this. Oh, I got that roux mixing. I wish you could smell just this right here. Roux, onions. The vegetables, mix it around good. 
I'm going to smother that down. Listen to the sizzle. Look at this, dude. We got that smothering down beautiful rib deer meat. Some old junk throwaway meat. We're going to brown that down with the Holy Trinity. With the roux. Oh, that's a lot of meat for, the, for some old waste, dude. Get that out of there. We're going to brown that down nicely. Oh, we're going to eat good tonight, the ball. Cook some rice. We got that deer meat there. One cap liquid crab ball. Don't ask me why I just do it. Them bay leaves. Get that in there. Everyone counts. Vegetable juice. Just like that. A little bit of that two-step, season it up good. Remember, we can always go back and season on later. Boom. Let's get that going. We got the fire on super low. Some lemons. I'm going to leave them big because I'm going to fish them lemons out before we serve that dude. Get them lemons in there. Give it a good little stir. And you're going to get them bay leaves out of there too, dude. Get that like that. Get that like that. For about an hour, got the fire on low, low. That's an hour. While we wait, we hydrate, dude. Let's check them old ribs on that scripper pole, dude. Look at here. Oh, yeah, need a little more juice, dude. Steamed ribs in beer. You know that's going to be money, dude. Oh, yeah, that's tender. It's getting there. I got a lot of people ask, what is low and slow? Check this out. You see how it's bubbling very slowly? Blue, 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 blue. Two, three hours like that will make a hammer tender, dude. Let's give it a little stir. This is gonna be freaking amazing on some rice, the white bread. Been about an hour and a half, dude. Let's give it a little look. Oh, yeah. Fresh stewed tomatoes. My daddy put out the garden, stewed them for me, put them right there. That's the last ingredient. We're gonna garnish it with a little green on your arms before we serve that. But this is coming along nicely. The meat's breaking down. Low and slow, don't rush it, dude. You can get this potted king cooker. I know you're gonna ask, but I wanna show you this. See how much heat comes out that little strip of hole? You can make s'mores. I didn't have marshmallows, but look how hot that thing gets. You had some marshmallows and some s'mores? We gotta melt that chocolate like that. Oh, I'ma eat that on a cracker, dude. Check that little appetizer we got. More like a dessert. Oh no, get that thing off of there. Look how pretty it is. Boy, oh, check that out. It even gets a little char on the back of the cracker, dude. Huh. Sauce bon. Mmm. That's damn good, bro. I'm gonna do another one. We have about three hours in. We're gonna start fishing out them lemons. And them bay leaves. Hey, if you leave a bay leaf in there, it's all right, dude. Just don't eat it. It ain't gonna hurt you, but it ain't gonna taste too good. Get a little bay leaf out of there. Mm. Lemon. Well, then drop them green on your arms, dude. Come in here and look at this. Look how pretty. That meat is getting tender. I'm gonna hit it with that old ay ay ay, dude. I can't wait to drop that on y'all. Coming soon gonna be fire that's it low and slow by 30 more minutes get these little ribs a check dude oh yeah let me put them out check that out right there oh look how tender it is them old deer meat ribs mm, mm, mm. not money dude now you could slice this up put it on the grill put it in the oven finish it we're going to cut this going right back in that sauce that corn with that. Look at that juicy. Let's slice and dice these old ribs, dude. Check that out. I'm going to add them right back to the pot. Have some big old ribs in your sauce that corn, dude. Check that out. Come look at that. Sink them down. Look at the meat on that. That's beautiful, dude. Sink them down. We're going to let that cook in that gravy. Oh, they ain't got no meat on them ribs, dude. Check that out. Get that in there. Just like that. Let's plate that sauce pit corn, dude. 
Get that right there. Look at here. Put that on that rice. Get that gravy. Get that meat. Playing that rib meat in here, dude. Check this out. Sauce pit corn for the win, dude. The only thing we got left to do is put that old sauce pit corn on a cracker, dude. Mmm, sauce that bone.